Hello everyone. This is going to be a sweet potato cooking in the Instapot pressure cooker. Uh, my wife thinks it's like probably better than me most of the time. We've taken sweet potatoes. No, no we. She took sweet potatoes, washed them off, and cut them in half lengthwise. Uh, making sure that they'll actually fit in there. And kind of crisscross stacks them in there. Let's see if I can spin around and show that. Kind of like if you were making a really lousy fire at the Boy Scout Club thing. And I don't know what she does next. There's okay, on. down inside there, here's a handle. Maybe you'll all know what this She says it sits on a trivet, a basket. It's got a little wire rack down there, holds it up off the bottom. Okay? Exactly. Got a cup and a half of water. And I think that's all she puts in there. Now on goes the top. Makes these cool songs. Okay, and then does manual. Goes around the manual. And ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's it. And that's it. There's no start button? Nope. Start button. When you quit mashing, it starts. That's right. So, if I understand this right, oh, other than it makes a lot of whistling noises, uh, it builds up the heat till it gets up to where it's pressurized. And when it gets to that pressurized temperature, it'll then cook for 10 minutes. And this comes up. Uh, there's a little doodad thing up here that'll pop up, which tells you that the pressure is in there. And this thing here is how you get rid of the pressure later on. So you want to be sure you don't have it open or you'll never get there. Uh, sweet potatoes. The problem with sweet potatoes cooking them is peeling them and getting them evenly done. I like sweet potatoes mashed up and put them in a quart bag. Uh, then you can freeze them and it makes really easy lunches or, or dinners. You just open up a, a quart bag, pack it real flat so you can just break off some. and. Then you can break some off, put it in the microwave, and you've got a meal. Now, literally, these things come apart pretty easily. Here's the sweet potatoes. She's mashing up. But these are the skins. And if we get lucky like she did this time when I wasn't filming, you're going to see that half the time the skin falls off when you take the sweet potato out. Now, that's the way to peel something, is to have it fall off all by itself. And as you can see, there, there's no wasted potato in here. These have really come off the skin just beautifully. Then you have all this sweet potato ready to go. So as this stuff develops, we'll show you some more as we go along with this. Well, it got up to temperature and started the 10 minute countdown. And as you can see, we're down to one minute. Still showing high pressure. And this little thing doesn't really stick up as far as I thought it would. It was down in there, but so you can see it. That lets you know that your pressure is there. So, only be about a minute. That doesn't mean we open it up and start eating because <laughs> this thing is like major hot. Oh, see, and there goes the music. Yeah, turn it off so that whistling noise quits. And then what do you do? Then we're going to do natural pressure release, which means that it'll cool down. And when it gets to below um, the pressure, it will, this little button will go down and then you can open up the lid. Basically it means we're not going to do anything. <laughs> when the sweet potato cools down, this is the batch before we started filming. Uh, there's all the skins. There's where the sweet potato used to be. And put it into Ziploc freezer bags. And you want to flatten it out. Identify it, give it a date, flatten it out real good. That's just so that you can portion control it and it stacks easy in your freezer. And this is two potatoes. And cord bag will hold about two potatoes. Since she did four potatoes and we have two bags. Even I can still do that much math. There's the one, and there's the other one. 
Now, the only bad part about doing this is that I didn't know when she started, so I didn't get to make sure it was okay. Because I usually like to do some sampling. So I'll be sure and sample on the other one. Now see, these will very easily go right in the freezer or the refrigerator. We'll put them in the freezer and stay nice and flat. Then when they're frozen, sweet potatoes don't freeze real hard. It's very easy to portion out a piece to thaw out in the microwave to have for a meal. So this is how the first batch went. Maybe I can catch a little more of when this second batch comes out. This little button here will drop down when the pressure is gotten down to just about nothing inside. It's still bleeding out at the moment, which means it still would not be a good idea to just un unscrew it. You'll end up with really hot steam all over yourself. And that's if you're lucky, otherwise it'll be wetter. And we're waiting for the thunk. There it went! Alright! There's the thunk! It's now safe to take the lid off, yes? Yes. It's just not safe to go sticking your fingers down in there. But you can take the lid off. So. Taking the lid off is pretty easy. You just turn it, gives you that little brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
See, I get to film and watch, and then I get to eat and talk about it, and she gets to burn her fingers and do all the work. This is a perfect combination here. So, it's too bad we've said so many nice things about the Instapot that I actually paid full price for ours. <laughs> and I paid full price for the sweet potatoes. Georgia Farm Bureau sent me nothing. So, but, you know, there's a lot of uh, pressure cookers out there. This one seems to do a pretty good job. Heard nothing but good things from my wife about it, so. That's sweet potatoes in a pressure cooker. Thank you for watching. Now, we've got this plate of skins from eight sweet potatoes, and the question is, now, what do you do with these? I know, you throw them away. Wrong! These go in the compost pile, and they'll be used to make compost, which will grow peppers and tomatoes this summer. Everything gets recycled and reused. And squeeze the sweet potatoes out so they're nice and flat. Very, very easy then when they're frozen to break off whatever you want. Makes it easy to portion it. And so out of the, what, eight sweet potatoes? Two of us had dinner and we have a total of four bags going into the freezer. And both dogs got sweet potato in their dinner tonight. So. It's pretty good use for eight sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. so, thank you for watching.